As summer approaches, the media are going to turn on the mosquito scare anytime now. West Nile virus, dengue, Zika, malaria, etc. In one of my web scrolling moments, I found out that a group of the University of Notre Dame scientists has discovered that the rare disease drug turns human bloody, blood deadly to mosquitoes. But first, let's look closer at these little buggers. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in various environments, from stagnant water pools to tree holes, and even in temporary puddles formed by rain. However, there are some species whose eggs can survive dry conditions for months, hatching when water becomes available. Well, mosquitoes have been around for over 100 million years. Their long evolutionary history means they have adapted to numerous climates and survived major mass extinction events. Entomologists have devised ingenious methods to study mosquitoes, including the use of high-speed cameras to capture their wing beats, which can reach up to 600 beats per second in some species, a rate that is almost imperceptible to the human eye. Mosquitoes are um, equipped with finely tuned sensory organs. Their antennae, um, eyes and olfactory receptors detect carbon dioxide, body heat and even the subtle chemical compounds that make up human sweat. Mosquitoes have evolved an extraordinary, extraordinary sense of smell. They can detect the scent of a human uh, from as, as far away as uh, 30 feet, picking up on carbon dioxide plumes and skin odors. Recent studies suggest that some mosquitoes may even be attracted to certain elements of human personality, such as stress hormones, making them the ultimate biodetectors. These adaptations ensure that they find their hosts with amazing accuracy. Mosquito saliva is, marvel, is a marvel of uh, biochemical engineering. It contains enzymes and compounds that dilate blood vessels and inhibit blood clotting, enabling a painless and efficient feeding process. Well, unfortunately, the same compounds often serve as carriers for deadly pathogens, such as plasmodium parasite, which causes malaria. I had malaria twice. Uh, the symptoms combine intense flu with food poisoning. Uh, I was extremely weak also for a long period after it was over, and I lost my sense of taste for about two weeks. So that definitely was no fun. Anyway, you could say that despite being small, mosquitoes are remarkably successful with over 3,500 species identified across the globe, they have evolved a range of feeding behaviors, breeding strategies, and survival mechanisms. Some species thrive in urban environments, while others have adopted to remote jungles or even arid deserts. There are quite a few bizarre and fascinating facts about mosquitoes beyond, that go beyond the cutting edge scientific research. They actually do get a sugar buzz, while female mosquitoes are, of course, notorious for their blood-sucking habits. Both males and females feed on nectar and other sugar sources. Some species have been observed to exhibit a sugar buzz, where they become unusually energetic after consuming sweet fluids. While female mosquitoes are famous for feeding on blood to nourish their eggs, both male and female mosquitoes primarily feed on plant nectar and other sugary fluids. In fact, without nectar, many species couldn't survive. The blood meal is just for reproduction. Well, also they are the opportunistic feeders. Not all mosquitoes strictly prefer human blood. Some species feed on animals, and there are documented cases of mosquitoes feeding on unusual hosts, such as uh, amphibians and even certain reptiles. Research indicates that mosquitoes can see ultraviolet light, which might help them navigate and locate flowering plants. This sensory ability is partly responsible 
for the colorful patterns observed in some mosquito species, though such patterns are often too subtle for the human detection. They also have um, unusual reproductive strategies. Mosquito mating rituals are nothing short of uh, spectacular. In many species, males form flying swarms, sometimes consisting of thousands of individuals, where they compete for attention of females. Observations of these swarms have been described in artistic terms, with some researchers likening the behavior to a spontaneous, chaotic ballet in midair. I'm sure you ran into one of those swarms in your backyard or in the woods. Um, so yes, you walked straight into the mosquitoes, well, you know, trying to reproduce. Mosquitoes uh, have also one of the most efficient uh, reproductive cycles among insects. Some species can complete their entire life cycle from egg to adult in less than a week, especially in warm and uh, humid conditions. This rapid reproduction rate contributes to um, periodic population booms, particularly in tropical regions uh, following rainfall events. So uh, the mosquitoes have been with us forever and are here to stay. Throughout history, mosquitoes have, been, um, have appeared in myths and superstitions across the globe. For instance, in um, some African cultures, a mosquito bite is said to be an omen or curse. Traditional healers have sometimes used bizarre rituals and potions to break the curse of a particularly painful bite, reflecting the deep-seated fear of these insects. In uh, some Eastern European folk tales, they are portrayed as tiny winged demons whose bites could foretell bad luck or misfortune. Well, one emerging strategy to control the mosquito population involves the use of uh, biological agents, such as genetically modified mosquitoes that carry sterile genes. When released into the wild, these re-engineered mosquitoes mate with their counterparts, resulting in a decreased population over time. Field trials, trials in various countries have shown promising results through large-scale implementation, though it remains challenging. We don't know, though, how would that affect the local ecosystems, for instance. And the mosquitoes are ecologically very important. Although mosquitoes are uh, notorious disease spreaders, they also play important roles in their local ecosystems. They serve as an um, essential food source for many species of birds, bats, amphibians, and even some fish. In some delicate ecosystems, the mosquito population is a key component of the food chain, ensuring that the predators have steady supply of nutrients. While not as renowned as bees and butterflies, mosquitoes also contribute to pollination. Their love of nectar means that they inadvertently transfer pollen from one flower to another, thus aiding in the reproduction of certain plant species etc, etc. One of the most um, unusual and promising developments in mosquito control among humans, though, came with a discovery highlighted in an article published this year by the University of Notre Dame. Researchers found that the rare disease drug nitizinon has the unexpected side effect of making human blood toxic to mosquitoes. In controlled laboratory experiments, mosquitoes were allowed to feed on blood spiked with nitizone. The results were striking. Mosquitoes that ingested the drug-laden blood experienced significantly higher mortality rates compared to those that were fed on untreated blood. The experiments also examined how quickly the toxic effect manifested and the possible mechanisms by which nitizone could disrupt the mosquito metabolism. While the full details of the mechanism still remains um, under investigation, early evidence suggests that uh, nitizone disrupts essential metabolic pathways in, uh, in, in mosquitoes. This discovery 
opens up exciting possibilities for uh, the new mosquito control strategies. Imagine um, a future where human population in mosquito-infested regions have access to treatments that make their blood less hospitable to mosquitoes. Such an approach uh, could significantly reduce the transmission of uh, mosquito-borne diseases. However, uh, there are ethical considerations and the risk of drug resistance would need careful evaluation as well. So, take care of yourselves and watch out for the areas that are natural mosquito breeding grounds. Thank you for uh, watching and listening and please subscribe to my channel. Knowing is winning.